Hey everybody, welcome back to see Elise. Today you're gonna see Elise clean and it is like not even six in the morning yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting on my coffee and then we're gonna get going. My coffee is going. Her kitty, shh. Jeez, look at him. Stalker. What? What? <laughs> anyway, so I have a lot to do. That's why I'm up so early. I kind of neglected the the normal stuff the past couple days because I've been finishing up the loft at the top of the stairs and the guest room redecorate and it's done. So I'm working on that video. It's a lot to edit, so it'll be a few days. But today I'm cleaning, so I'm not gonna show you those two rooms because it will ruin the surprise. But I am going to clean the whole house except for those two rooms. And then I'm going to try and deep clean the living room for a spring cleaning. And so I'm gonna have my cup of coffee and then we'll get started in the living room. I'll see if I can get that done before everybody wakes up. We'll see. And then Nova has preschool today for two and a half hours. So I thought I'll get as much done as I can before breakfast, then we'll eat, and then I'll have two and a half hours of preschool to finish up. So that's my game plan. So wish me luck, let's get cleaning. I got started by picking everything up in the living room and then I was gonna start on those built-ins because I knew that was the biggest part of the job. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans. Yes, I am watching the first season of Riverdale again because I'm mourning the loss of Luke Perry. I'm using my seventh generation wood cleaner with a microfiber cloth on these built ins. I started in on the shelves by taking everything off and then cleaning everything, and then I put everything back in a little bit different to give it a bit of a fresh look for me.
I used this steamer on the curtains in Nova's room when I spring cleaned her room earlier this week, and it works great. And now that I've used it a couple of times, I'm pretty quick at it. And so I put a link down in the description box if you want to check it out on Amazon. I think it's about 60 bucks right now, and I love it. I also give the windows a quick wipe with my window and glass e-cloth. That's probably my favorite one. I bought this Bissell vacuum years ago to have as a backup. I got it on Amazon for about 60 bucks, and I love the turbo brush attachment on this vacuum. I like this vacuum a lot more than I thought I was gonna like it, considering it's my backup vacuum. But the Shark, which costs you know over 200 bucks, is starting to act up and makes a weird noise, so I'm afraid to use it. <laughs> so I think I might need to invest in a fabulous cordless Dyson vacuum. What do you think? I did put a link for the Bissell in the description box of this video, but it's the newer model, so it's more expensive. It's about 89 bucks, but I think it's worth it just for the turbo brush.
this is actually a new rug and I really like it, but the rug is the reason I did not move the couch out. We just got it a few weeks ago and we did have to move the couch completely to put the rug in the right spot, so I vacuumed behind the couch then. I'm also super over this ottoman slash coffee table. We bought it years ago and it came with two little ottomans inside of it and the whole thing was like a hundred bucks. But both the little ottomans broke and they got thrown away. This is fake leather, it has a bunch of rips and scuffs and it's hard to clean. I like that you can flip the top upside down so that it's not a cushion and it turns into a table, but I'm just over it. So I was thinking I'm gonna pick a couple of coffee tables that I like and post them on my Instagram and you guys can comment which one you think I should get. So follow me on Instagram and I will post a few coffee tables and you guys can help me pick one. I brought in the big chalkboard that I keep outside the front door. I like to change it with the seasons, so I'm gonna write some cute spring stuff on my little chalkboards. That big Amazon box is actually full of markers. Nova loves it when I give her a whole bunch of markers and let her draw all over on the inside of the box. Once I got all three of those front rooms done, I went upstairs to start a little laundry before I tackled the kitchen, which was a mess. you've been through why you got scars since you walked through the door i've been trying to reach you because i feel you what's the story to tell what's the story behind the mountain you're 
trying to climb Think of her before in a movie line We can ride our own and in this time I wanna say no, but I cannot lie I'm so curious about your life But you're a stranger trying to hide What I see is not you, don't deny I wanna see the rest of you clean my sink, I put lemon essential oils down the drains and it keeps them smelling nice and fresh. As always, on my kitchen counters, I use the kitchen e-cloth and then I follow it up with the glass and polish cloth. At this point, it is now 10.45 a.m. Just to give you an idea of how long I've been cleaning, I started at six, <laughs> and I realized I had 15 minutes left before I had to pick up Nova from preschool, so I ran upstairs really quick to make her bed and then make my bed. Her room got spring cleaned just a few days ago, so I just fluffed up her bed in hopes that maybe it would be super comfy and she would take a nap, but it didn't work. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make a sweat of me.
right when we got back from preschool, my husband, who works from home, came down and said, oh, I have Granny on FaceTime. So him and Nova were FaceTiming with Granny for like 20 to 30 minutes. So I totally took advantage of that, and I got to do a little more laundry, finish my room, and then I went back downstairs to sweep. This feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I cannot fight it My head's underwater, I try to disguise it Want you to hold me, though we haven't spoken I need that something to get me After sweeping, I made Nova some lunch and I was able to steam up the floor while she was eating. the half bath right off the kitchen. It didn't need a lot, so I just gave it a quick wipe and put a fresh towel in there. We use these baskets to gather up things that accumulate on the first floor that need to go up so I don't have to make so many trips. The whole downstairs was clean at this point, so all I needed to do was the two full baths that are upstairs. This is Nova's bathroom, so I just wet the tub and sprayed it down with 7th Gen Tub and Tile Cleaner and I let it soak while I clean the toilet. Then after the toilet was clean, I just gave the tub a quick rinse. My best friend just asked me, why do you have so many different kinds of soap in your bathroom? <laughs> I just realized I totally do have like three different types of soap at each sink. But I like bar soap, but if my hands are really messy, I want liquid soap, and I need fragrance free, but I figure my guests don't want fragrance free, so I have one really good smelling one by each sink. So that is why I have so much soap. Through the 
Next, I popped across the hall to the master bathroom and got that all picked up. We always make such a mess on this counter. Once again, I just wet the tub and then I sprayed the seventh generation tub and tile cleaner and let that soak while I cleaned the shower glass and the toilet. I used the glass and polishing cloth on my shower glass today because that's what I had in my hand and the good window and glass cleaner was downstairs and I was too tired to walk down there and get it. And I regret it. The window and glass one totally works better and gets the soaps come off way quicker. So <laughs> Nova and I went to Home Goods yesterday and we're looking for Easter stuff. And I'm like, you can pick out <laughs> you can pick out one bunny and bring it home. 
and she picked the creepiest bunny ever. It's horrifying! <laughs> da, da. Look at the chicken duck thing. It's horrifying. I'm like, are you sure that's the one you want? I want that bunny. Are you, do you love that bunny? Yeah. <laughs> Nova laid down for quiet time. She didn't nap, but she did have some quiet time in her room. So I went through my bin of Easter and spring decorations and picked out what I wanted to put out this year. And then I cut the tags off of a couple of new things that I got at Home Goods. console table looked very wintry to me so I got rid of the bowl of rocks and the basket of blankets and I put a few springy things there. It was just about time for me to take Nova out of her room, so I sat down to take a break and I doodled on my little chalkboards. And so, no, I'm not a professional chalkboard artist. I'm not an artist at all, but I do have fun drawing on these. Even if they're not super great, I think they're fun and cute. I made these chalkboards myself by getting really cheap frames at a thrift store for about a quarter, and then I painted the glass with chalkboard paint. Just like This is the board that I keep outside on the front porch right by the door, and there's actually no glass in it. I just painted the cardboard on the back of the frame, and it works great for outside. It has survived every windstorm and every hailstorm that we've had in this house in Colorado so far. And that ridiculous bunny that I drew reminds me a lot of the horrible bunny that's upstairs. Hmm, I think he's in my head. Well, I'm all done cleaning and decorating. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ah! Thank you guys so much for watching. I got so much done and the living room I don't think has ever been this clean. I'm sitting in it now and enjoying it. So yeah, I cleaned the living room for like two and a half hours, which was a long time, but I did clean every inch of this room. So I feel pretty good about it. And the rest of the house looks great. I just have one more load of laundry to put away, but you don't need to see that. And thanks for watching me decorate. Let me know in the comments if you liked the little bunnies and which bunny was your favorite. I have a feeling I know which bunny is your favorite. Uh, thanks again, guys. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'm getting my next Stitch Fix box in the mail today. So tomorrow I can film a try on and unboxing for you guys, which I love. So that'll be really fun. And then the big reveal of my new office and guest room is coming as well. So in the next couple of days, there's gonna be a whole bunch of videos. So enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.